Hi. Hey. Uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi Nicholas, nice, nice to meet you. Um, this is Liang. I work for this company called the Rocket. Uh, Rocket, we have been making the uh, augmented reality industry for over uh, 12 years. And uh, now you say twice the style, all the AI, what do you mean? Okay, that's a good question. So if you remember last year, we bring this glasses to the market, which is Rocket AR AI glasses. So this year, this is our new product. As you can see, this is very stylish. And uh, furthermore, we are able to change the glasses as well. So this will support plus minus 15 diopter of all the prescription glasses. Okay. So you can wear them. You you need prescription, right? Yes, I need so a prescription. So you can have version for you? Yes. So I can easily put the prescription here and like this. So and we can have all the different colors for the lenses as well. And you can do sunglasses and clear. Yes, correct. We can even do the uh, photochromatic lenses oh, as well. Do you have that already working? Yeah, we have that already working. Okay, so you will not lose anything. So this one does not have the screen, but it will have all the AI features. And so is this no screen version? Yes, correct. This is no screen version. So, but this will have like all the AI. You will have a great camera. You will have a great video. So pretty much like all the function without the display. And how good is the sound quality? It's really great, great sound quality. I really love it. Yes. So you can hear really clear. And we also have different modes. For example, you can have the music mode or, or you can have the podcast mode as well. And here at the CES 2024, uh, yes. 2026, sorry, uh, if you walk this way, yes. Uh, I love which uh, When I look over here, uh, you have the rocket glasses, world's lightest full function AR, AI, AR glasses. Uh, so, what's latest for that? Okay. So as you can see, last year what we bring to the market is a prototype. So for the last year, we did the very successful Kickstarter campaign. So overall, for US, you know, global and Taiwan, we did a two campaign. So we already got over six million US dollar crowdfunding, and uh, we also shipped them out as well. Everybody get it. Yeah. So I think currently everybody get except some people. You know, again, I think this is important. Except in Venezuela. Or no, something. no, no. Except like uh, we sent it a survey. We wanted them to confirm the shipping address. So some people they did not confirm the shipping address. So, but most of them they were already shipped out. And what do people think about it? Oh, everybody love it. So we have a community. Everybody keep, they are able to push the videos on it on the on our community. So everybody enjoyed it very much. Do you have it here? You can show. Can you show the latest? Uh, What's up with that? You can show it. Uh, it. The one you're wearing right now. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. So that's the one with the. It's a green monocolor. So we have two green monocular display, as you can see. And from a certain angle, you will be able to see it. But typically, I mean, you cannot see them, right? Can you take it off? Yes, I can. It's on right now. Um, let's see. Yes, they are on. Yeah, you can see the UI right. from that. Yeah. And uh, what did you develop in the UI? There's so much. Um, I see some really cool videos on the internet. Uh, this this okay. is a young guy. He comes to your office. Yes. And, uh, so he have so many questions about uh -huh. like what do you do about this? What's yes. happening with this? It's so cool. And uh, so that means people are very excited, no? Yes, people are very excited. Again, for Rocket, I think one of the benefits or working with us or become our cu customers, we listen to people, we listen to our customers. So every day we get a lot of feedback. So we are actively pro you know, improving the glasses, improving the product. So overall, uh, from our like last year CES to today, we have over 300 different optimizations already. We rolled out a lot of new features. Yes, over 300 software, hardware. We are continually, you know, continually improving the product every day. Because, uh, as I understand, the dream is to have really smart AI functions that can use ChatGPT or Gemini or uh, DeepSeek or yes. whatever. Yes, and you can kind of choose which one maybe. Yes, and then you can you can get very cool functions. Does it work? Yes, it works. So currently what this work is, for example, like different different countries, they have different rules, right? So for example, like the US, China, people, you know, one is from like a, the countries, they have limitations or, you know, people, they have different preference, right? So for example, like for here, uh, most of our customers, they are using ChatGPT. Uh, in China, most people, they are using the AI system from Alibaba, which is called QWeb. So we give the customer the, the choice. choice. 
So they are and able you to host it in the cloud. You host it in AWS or something. Yes. yes. So currently, this is for example for translation, we are working with Microsoft Enterprise AI, right? So that will be on their cloud for ChatGPT AI. It will be with like ChatGPT. And uh, the, the user can choose. Yes. So we are continuously working with a lot of developer, customer, or like the vendors, right? So in this case, for example, like AI, you will be able to choose. So for the translation, you are able to choose from Microsoft, and we also have an offline translation. You do not even need to connect to the internet. So you will be able to choose different translations. And that's free. As well. That's free, forever. And uh, one thing that's I've been waiting for 15 years to do, uh, maybe 12, 13 years, is I want to be an augmented YouTuber. So I want to wear it when I do my interview. And the uh, glasses should give me idea what questions to ask. And it yes. should be based on AI and, uh, you know, like uh, in real time, just it can see, the glass can see, ah, I'm interviewing ah, with Rocket. That's right. And it's understand what we're talking about. And it just recommend questions. Yes. Do you think this, how difficult would it be to have an application like okay, this? Okay, this is a great idea. I think this is a very, very, um, I think this is really, really great use case. So every day we have a lot of great use case, but for now, uh, for example, like Rocket, even when I'm on navigation, I can take picture, I can say, hi Rocket, ask any AI question. So we're able to do multi-task. For example, like what you mentioned, you know, when I look at something, the AI, for now, the AI will tell you what you're looking at. But I think it's totally possible, you know, let the AI to give you the, prom you know, promote, right? Like what kind, what kind of questions you want to ask. Because so, it can listen to you when you speak, but it also listen to who you speak to. It also it will be both. able to understand the environment. So uh, it, it can uh, understand our conversation and give recommendations. What I also want, for example, I want to sound smart. I want to be like a comedian. I yes. want to be funny. So I want the smart glass to give me jokes ah. all the time for the situation. That's awesome. So I can just be so funny. I can I can just say, Walk give to, me the jokes, yes. jokes in the in the style of Dave Chappelle or Louis C.K. or something, and it just like you know the AI jokes yes. all day. Yes. And you can just be funny. I like the idea. You know, and you can be like an augmented comedian or something yes. like that. I don't care. Tell me a joke. Yeah, exactly. Right. And it, it, but it should just cons and if you don't like the joke, you just skip. Yeah. You choose the next yeah, one. Yeah, go to the next one. Exactly. I think that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. Or totally. in general, so it should it. augment. You know, you want to be just very smart person walking around, and it should constantly give you advice mm -hmm. or no, like explain you what you're looking at. Yeah. But like historically, or. Yes. Like uh, you know, like a guided tour. I yeah, exactly. And you walk exactly. around Rome, and it's all the uh, everything you look at. Yeah, you get augmented information. Yeah, so I think the AI today, there's a lot of imagination place, right? So I think your idea is really good idea. Currently, for example, you can al already ask the Open AI. So every day I can like chat with the Hi Rocket. Uh, for example, like tell me jokes. Let me see. Okay. Let's see. So this is what he, so why don't scientists trust Adam? Because they make up everything. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Why don't scientists yeah. trust Adams? Because they made up everything. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's a good no, one. That's great. Yes. Uh, yeah, so so uh, these kind of ideas I have, how difficult is it to okay, this make is a, applications? Yes, yes. Can, this is a very is good part. Is it open API? People can add the app? Correct, correct. What is the format? Yes. Oh, that's a really good question. So currently, uh, I think Rocket is, uh, I would not say the only one, but uh, we're probably the earliest one. Uh, we have our uh, Android API, and we also have the iOS API as well. Okay, so we have SDK. So all the developers, they are able you know, connect to us, and we will give uh, like uh, uh, the cable and also uh, the instruction how they are able to write their own apps. So currently, we have like a, you know, our customer, some of them, they even watch YouTube on those, even though they are great. And so th there's like an app system on the glass. It's very small, kilobytes, we, not very big, you add yeah. them. So we are, we have like a, our own store already released in China. So we will be rolling this out globally as well. Nice. So it's kind of like, a, for example, if you go to one the app right so you will see the collection of the apps so you can put them you know from your cell phone so maybe those 
uh, request I have for the apps, maybe they will exist in the app store. Yes, maybe. yeah, exactly. Or maybe so I can make them like using a, AI. Like, can yeah, I use, can AI use AI to make a new app? Coding. Yeah, yeah. We have. So another thing is uh, for Rocket, every year we spend like a couple million US dollars. Uh, we do the different competitions. For example, we encourage like all nice. the people to join us. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so it must be very exciting. This, what, 10,000 fans? How many fans do you have? How many backers totally? Uh, for the backers, we currently have roughly 6,000 backers. So they are paid customer, you know, for the Kickstarter company and the company in Taiwan. So for our developers, we already have over 20,000 developers as well. Wow. And we also have 5,000 enterprise developers. Are you doing an open source platform? Uh, we are not open source, but we will give you all the tools you need for the open. You don't want open SDK source, platform. so all the competitors will use your platform. Uh, no, it's not that the case. Uh, I think eventually, probably we will think about that. But for now, because all the glasses, you know, so they are using different hardware, different chipsets. So even though you give all the people all the code, they cannot use it. Can you talk about your chipset? Yeah. So we use two chip, the two main chip. So one is the AR one. Uh, from Qualcomm, and we have another one from NXP. So the AR1 is quite powerful, they take care of the image uh, and the video, right? Also the display, and uh, for the NXP chip, uh, we are pro primarily use that for the video, for the audio processing. So for example, we have four microphones, they will capture the sound, it also uh, take care of the speaker as well. So this way the benefit is, you will have like a really long, you know, time for the sleep, etc. So that's why the glasses will be able to have 24 hours, like a, you know, time for. Did you, you do it like an Artas based OS? Yes, yes. Uh, is it free Artas or you don't say what's the base? Um, I think it depends. If let's say if you have really light application, you probably can use that, right? But today, you know, if you look at the image quality, video quality, uh, I think that's still pretty power hungry. So that's why we choose the AR1 from Qualcomm. They give people really great image, but not only the daytime, but also the nighttime as well. And so if you compare us with the other brand, you will see the difference. And your company uh, is probably ready to, in the, I don't know how soon, make full color. Oh, full color? OK, yeah. stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> that's all I can say. Yeah. Yes, and, uh, but that's definitely cool on the roadmap. Uh, you use micro LED display. Uh, currently, this uh, display is using micro LED. But it's a waveguide, diffractive And wave so guide. much is happening with micro LED. So who knows? Six I think months still, later, one year yeah, later. I think it's still micro LED. The full color. I mean, everybody say they can do it, but uh, you know, for now, the most mature solution. As soon as it's is, uh, ready, you will do it. As soon as it's ready, you will. Of course, of course. So Rocket, we are a product company, right? And your whole platform will work for full color, I guess. Yeah. So for example, because we already have the waveguides, and the currently it's green. Um, but currently, the most uh, mature solution for the full color there, Q combiner. So they have a lot like a yield issue. They have like cost issue. But when it's ready, we definitely seriously consider about that. And one function I also want. I wait for so long. Uh, I mean, two more. But uh, I want to go to the supermarket, and it just tell me what to buy that's healthy for me. And just like you know, I walk around and say, don't take this take that, or maybe you should take this, do you, or do you want lasagna or whatever? Uh, you need these ingredients, you know? Or, uh, you know, like... Uh, yeah, I see, you know I see what, what you're saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I think that is more on the app level. Uh, so currently, that's why for our glasses, we have the two sides, right? So the glass is running on AOSP, okay? But on your phone, you can run a very powerful app. So in this case, like what you mentioned, uh, if you can make an app which has a you know, short-term memory, it will make it possible. And the last last app I wish for uh, is all the fans of Rocket meet at the party, and then there's cameras in the corners, uh. and they can see who's where, and then you can have augmented experience of everybody at the party. So I can see you, and it gives me information about who you are, uh, because you want to share it with other people. Mm. And then it says, you know, it's like networking for conferences. In the future, everybody will wear smart glass. We have to have a better experience. Oh, yes. Do you know what I mean? That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a, that's a really awesome idea. That's another so, app. Yeah, currently, oh, you have a lot of great ideas. <laughs> that's very cool. interesting. So luckily, we have the developer community. I think once you, you know, publish your idea, we should have a, you know, quite interesting. We have a lot of developers that can help to, you know, make those apps like, uh, become true. For example, like uh, currently, uh, I have seen people using this for, uh, for example, like you can watch the stock market. 
Okay. And also we have some customer using this for Nintendo games. Oh. Right? So there's oh. a lot of interesting use to guide cases. them around the game. Yes. Nice. Yes. It's not only the game. And the other thing I want uh, to let you know is, uh, so for this year, you will also see a lot of uh, applications for enterprise market. For example, like retail, logistic. Oh. You know, as you can see, a lot of works, you know, they need to be hands-free, right? So the glasses will be a really great form factor to enable hands-free experience for work. Like, uh, you know, for example, like a truck driver, delivery guys. So there's a lot of good use cases. Thank you so much for your time. I just have one more question. Yes. Like, uh, you'd say there's 300 upgrades already. 300 feature added you already do. Yes, yes. Changes. Uh, what's next? What, what, how many things you have to work on yeah. in the future so, months? So this is how it works. We have, a, we have a, you know, it's not Excel, but we have like a project list, right? So we have P0, P1, P2, P3, and we have internal collection channel, and we have ex external collection channel. So every week we will run through all the lists. Okay, to figure out which one we should move up, which one we should move down. So we can't do this like continuously, we get feedback. So we call ourselves, you know, we listen to the customer. I think that's a big difference. And that's you have a good team, right? To yeah, we have a really solid team. Great team. Yeah, we have a really solid team. So we have the experts pretty much like uh, cover all the great, uh, you know, operating system, on the NLP, you know, et cetera, pretty much all the domains. I think uh, that's the biggest difference. You know, you can see there's a lot of companies that make AR glasses, they, make, they say they make AI glasses, but as you can imagine, you know, from last year to this year, there's like a day and night difference, you know, for those glasses because we put a lot like a uh, Parts, it's great. You know, in this. It was a little bit what was missing with Google Glass was uh, an ecosystem that was actually existing. They yes. only sent it to developers. It was not available to everybody to buy. Yeah. It was, uh, but now there's a solution available to buy and you're doing an effort to make a really good ecosystem. Yeah, we are still a small company, you know, but we're really trying to grow the market. We know, you know, if we do this by ourselves, it will be a Long journey, right? So we put the, all our effort try to make the product like a really perfect, really great product. But we think by collaborating with all the partner, you know, including like a industrial partner and the individual developer, we will make the classes like more mature, quicker. Sorry, I said there was still one more question. Yes. So can people buy tokens on all these AI platforms or is it a subscription system? Wouldn't it make sense to have like just tokens and then, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, you can make a profit if you want, but it's just about, you know, like, maybe I want to use ChatGPT Pro, uh, and yeah. maybe I, or maybe I want to use Gemini Flash, and yes. it's cheaper, you know? Yes. And you can so, choose. Yeah, we have developer, they are able to connect to their own API, to the system already. I have seen people do that. But for Rocket Standard product, we try to make the plan as simple as possible. So, so just monthly? Yeah, just monthly. But for now, uh, currently, I think Rocket will cover all the costs at this time. All right, so we will see what happens in the future because it's, it costs a lot of money to have so much AI yes. functions, right? Yes, exactly. So that's why for now, uh, pretty much like uh, we really try to grow the market. We really try to grow the community. So currently we are absorbing all the costs, uh, but we are working on the you know subscription. We are trying to figure out the model because, because nobody has done this Because if I want to use the before. high high-end uh, Gemini Pro or ChatGPT Pro, yeah. all this is extra cost, you know? Like yes, it's extra cost. We are so definitely considering that. Choose to up, get the faster, I think higher. The, yeah, I think the, the main idea is we try to let the user to select what they're most comfortable with. You know, for example, like some people, they use Gemini Pro, some people, they like, uh, you know, for example, like ChatGPT, right? So we still want them to stay with what's comfortable tool they are using.